and trotting and loving the rock sticks ahead in front there. Susie's magic bit of a leave there with Macariah Hanover. Pure Ivory is taken to the inside early here as Merle's Pearl skims the cones into third as they round the first turn. It's Miller and Susie's Magic with that long shot. Love on the Rock surges up into second to challenge Merle's Pearl is third. Macariah Hanover is fourth. As they head past the quarter, Passionate Glide under some whip taps in fifth. The favorite, Pure Ivory, taken to sixth here and taking a peek to the outside already. Then it's Miss Wisconsin followed by Quick Credit near the back with Flamingo Bingo and Azalea Gal. 28 and 1, a tepid clip early here. Love on the Rocks leads it, not for long. Here comes Macariah Hanover, who set a world record in her elimination. Macariah Hanover now surges to the front. Love on the Rocks back in the second spot. Now Jacques Hebert and Merle's Pro commits first over, flushed out there by Passionate Glide. And now on the inside, Susie's Magic is fourth past the half. Passionate Glide fifth on the outside. Pure Ivory makes it third over, sixth on the outside into the far turn. Then it's Miss Wisconsin on the rail, followed by Quick Credit, who's backed up here as Merle's Pearl is clogging the utter flow. Jammed up near the back, Azalea Gal and Flamingo Bingo trails 57 and 2. Macariah's getting away here for Pallone. It's Macariah by two past three quarters. Love on the Rocks all out. First over Merle's Pearl, still trying to gain. Passionate Glide looking three wide around here. And Pure Ivory looks to rally, has some work to do. Susie's Magic looks to shake loose. 126 and 4. It's a well rated Macariah Hanover looking to go all the way. She opens up by four, but on the outside, Passionate Glide is getting in gear. And here's now his passionate Clyde roaring up on the outside and pouncing on Macariah Hanover and uh, Pure Ivory getting underway, but too late. It will be passionate Clyde and Ron Pierce and Jimmy Tactor does it again here in the crowd with passionate Clyde. Macariah Hanover second, Pure Ivory was third, 155 and four. And here she is, the second race winner, the Breeders' Crown final winner, passionate Clyde. Passionate Glide is a two-year-old bay filly by Yankee Glide out of Miss Marita by Joie de Fee. Bred and owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky. The homebred trained by trotting master Jimmy Tactor and winning driver Hall of Famer Ron Pierce. Passionate Glide, a half-sister to Mr. Vic, a winner of over 318000 and Marita's Victory, over $666,000 the winner of the 2000 Hamiltonian Oaks. Passionate Glide won the Goldsmith Made Final at Woodbine. She had missed some time but uh, trained well coming into uh, the Breeders' Crown this year. A very consistent Grand Circuit Stakes winner. Jimmy Tactor, the trainer, finished 1-2 in this event last year with Flirt and Miss and Solvay. And that makes it four wins in this division for Jimmy Tactor, who also won it with Armbro Prowess and Gleam. And the leading owners in Breeders' Crown history score their 14th win, Brittany Farms. And as Breeders, their 16th victory as Breeders, and that puts them in the lead in that category as well. So... Certainly a happy group there. George Siegel and his colleagues from Brittany Farms. And Admir Zukanovic is the caretaker of Passionate Glide. Winning driver Ron Pierce. And there's Jimmy Tactor, who had last year's two-year-old Colt Trot champion Ken Warkenton and also has the younger brother right now getting set to start training. In just a few moments, Bob Hollywood Hayden will have winner's circle reaction. Making our trophy presentation, Mr. Max Hemp, Hamiltonian Society Director and Master of Hemp Farms. Max Hemp with the trophy presentation to the winning connections, Brittany Farms, Jimmy Tactor, and Ron Pierce. A couple of familiar faces in the Breeders' Crown Winner's Circle, Ron Pierce and Jimmy Tactor. Ron, tell us a little bit about you, the fact that you just went past Mr. Bill O'Donnell on the all-time list here and the, uh, the Breeders' Crown wins here with Passionate Collide. That must be a good feeling. Yeah, great feeling. I'm tickled to death. Tell us a little bit about Passionate Collide. What kind of trip did you work out tonight? 
It was uh, when they drew the race. Uh, I seen right away that we were in for a very good trip, and it worked out just perfect. Uh, we come second up. I tipped her three deep at the head of the lane. She had plenty of trot. The uh, outer tier was backed up a little bit there, and um, did you think McIlroy Hanover might have gotten away from the field? Um, well, I was. It kind of looked like it there going around the last turn, but um, my filly, I could tell that she had a lot of get uh, left in the tank, so it was just a question of whenever I wanted to pull the trigger. What's the best Ron Pierce shot we had the rest of the night can, for coming back here? Uh, my little dragon next race, I guess, has a good good chance. Uh, Village Jolt, uh, if we could work out a trip from the 10 hole, maybe we could beat Rock and Roll and uh, American Ideal, I don't know. Okay, Ron Pierce, a frequent visitor in the winner's circle. So is Jimmy Tactor. Jimmy Tactor, a couple last year. Flirt and Miss, Ken Workington, Moneymaker, Malabar Man, the list goes on and on. Passion of Clyde, this is a little bit of a surprise to you? Eh, not really. I, I, she raced very good up in Canada when she won the Goldsmith Maid. And uh, she ha we decided not to race her in the Maid run, so she had a four weeks uh, break between uh, the elimination and, uh, and, uh, and the Goldsmith Maid. So... Uh, she trotted 55 and 4. It was a cold night, and from a filly that haven't raced for four weeks, I thought she raced too madness. I asked you last week about Yankee Glide. You said the best trotting sire? Is it, you have a few of those, right? Well, for me, yeah, I've been very fortunate uh, to have a lot of good ones out of him, and uh, they're nice to work with, and I, I, I really like them. A lot of uh, two-year-old fillies last seven, eight years getting started later in the year. All her starts in the last couple of months. Is that a trend we're seeing in harness racing? Well, you know, we, this filly we, we thought very high of from beginning and uh, we elected not to race her any races here in Medland, so we pointed her out west a little bit and uh, went to Canada. And, uh, you know, the big money is end of the year now in harness racing. Five more tactor shots tonight. Who's the best of the bunch? Well, that's, uh, I hope, I hope Cabrini is probably my... Uh, uh, best shot. Okay, Jimmy Tactor, winner's circle again in the opening of eight Breeders' Crown Finals.